Good morning. If you are not getting the shit done that you really want, it's because you don't have enough time. It's not because you don't know how. Usually it's because you don't have enough time. Now, there's lots of reasons why people don't have enough time. And I teach that all, all the different reasons we don't have enough time. But one of the strategies or tool, actually this is a tool, that I want to share with you today to help you get back more time is a strategy, that, strategy that's been out there for a long time. It's called the Pomodoro Technique. Hi, Jamie. And um, the Pomodoro Technique is not invented by me. Nothing's like, it's, it's easy. Here it is. You take a work block. I have an itchy nose. <laughs> Sorry. You take a work block. Now, the, the recommended work block is... 24 minutes, but that might not be enough for you. This is where I ask my clients to tune into themselves. Are you a 24 minute person? Are you a 45 minute person? Or are you a 60 minute person? Which of these work blocks works best for you? You will know if you check in with yourself. You're like, oh my God, I can't imagine working straight for 60 minutes. Okay, let's start with 24 minutes, right? So the Pomodoro Technique has you working for 24 minutes. And then you give yourself a five minute break. And that's where you get up and you wander around. Good morning, mom. And uh, you do something else. Like you actually physically do something else than you were just doing. Now, the reason this works is, is because you are doing this work uninterrupted, which means you put the moon on, on your phone, which means you don't let uh, the notifications that come up in the corner of your uh, laptop give you a dis distraction like the 24 minutes is 24 working minutes it's not the d -d 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 thing that you normally do that's why it works here's the big warning i want to give to you 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 likely haven't worked 24 focused minutes in a long time and that is not your fault things are coming at you all the time the world is designed to distract you emails come in Messengers come in, uh, DMs come in, people come to your front door, your kid yells down from upstairs. Like there's a lot of distraction. So the fact that you haven't worked 24 minutes in a row is not your fault. Please stop judging yourself for that. But what you, if you really want to get some shit done, you have to start working without distraction. And this is a thing you have to train yourself on. It's not like it will happen tomorrow easily. So I'm curious, is anybody else out there struggling with getting shit done and how much are distractions coming in at you? So that's the first thing. What external distractions are coming in? Minimize those. Those are, there are lots of ways to do that, but it's the thing you have to train yourself to do. The second thing you have to, and you also have to train other people to do that, right? So if your kid is used to saying, mom, and you immediately drop what you're doing and go to him, he's going to learn that he has access to you 24 seven. That's not the way the world works. You're not doing him any favors by training him to do that. Uh, so you have to train yourself and others. Now, the second thing that's going to happen is internal distraction because your brain is so not used to working in concentrated, focused amounts of time. It's going to get real itchy up there. You're going to be like, da, 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 I'm working away. I'm working away. And then you're going to say, I wonder, I wonder what's happening on Instagram right now. I wonder if anybody liked that post. Did anybody send me a DM after my last Instagram story? Or you're going to say, I wonder what emails have come in. Your brain is searching for the dopamine hit, which is the chemical that floods your body and is very relieving. Like, ah, yeah, that's satisfaction. So you're going to have to train yourself to push through the difficult times when you're in those 24 minutes or maybe 45 minutes or maybe 60 minutes, my suggestion is start with 24 minutes because you've got to like work your way up to the 60 minute Pomodoro sessions. So if your brain is itchy and you give in to the itch, then you're just, again, retraining yourself that you can't trust yourself. You're retraining yourself to stay in that constant state of, I can't get anything done. Also, what's going to happen, it's not just going to be like the curiosity of what's going on in the world. The reason that your brain wants to do that is because whatever you're doing right then in that moment is hard and uncomfortable. Like you are doing something and you're like, da, 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 da. this is so great. I'm getting so much done. And then you either have to make a decision about something or come up with a new way of saying something or, or do something that's hard and uncomfortable. And your brain's going to be searching for relief 
That's why your brain likes to get distracted. It's searching for relief. And there's a million ways that we can get relief and we have indulged in those for so long, but it's stealing our time. And I promise you, if you are a creative, busy woman who is dying to bring your idea to life and make money from this thing that you are so good at, the thing that is your magic, you're never gonna get more time if you don't first train other people to know that you're not at their beck and call at any time and two, stop training your brain to know that you're gonna give it relief when it gets a little uncomfortable. Go back to that idea of like, I can do hard things. You know, set some boundaries. This is the stuff that I teach in my group. We, we go really deep into how to do this stuff, but I want you to know that there's nothing wrong with you because this is where you are right now. You need to learn some strategies to undo that. If you need some help with that, that's why you hire somebody. That's why you get into a program. That's why you get support. Like all this information is free and out there. I didn't create Pomodoro. I didn't create any of this stuff. But you do need to remember that you can take yourself really far with this content. Like I can tell you the Pomodoro technique works and it, it works amazingly. And I want you to start with those 24 minutes. And then you can say, okay, well, Jen said my brain was gonna get, get, get itchy and oh, look, here's my brain getting itchy. But if you really need help breaking those patterns, sometimes you need support. So if you do need support, reach out to me. But if you just want more free content like this, just follow along or share this with this person, share this with a person who you know could really use some more time back in her life. But the most important thing I want you to walk away with is please stop judging yourself that you're not getting shit done. I mean, at some point, are you breaking your patterns? You have to ask yourself, yeah, I keep perpetuating these patterns and I keep being stuck. Okay, it's time to make some changes. But if you're, this is all new to you and you're just learning about all of these distractions and why our brain wants to distract yourself, then can you be a little kind to yourself? And today I'm going to ask you to make one teeny tiny shift. So practice a Pomodoro technique. Yes, it's Saturday but I bet you've got some shit to do. Maybe there's a closet you wanna clean out or maybe there's some writing you wanted to do or maybe your half hour or your, your 24 minutes is for self care. Maybe it's for exercise. I don't care what, it, what your Pomodoro is this for today, but give yourself uninterrupted 24 minutes and then you get the relief. And when your brain starts to chit chat at you, just say, look brain, I understand that you're trying to protect me. I totally appreciate it. Right now, I'm, I'm good, I don't need protection. You're gonna get relief in 24 minutes. You can hang on to 24 minutes. And then your brain's like, all right, it's coming, it's coming. So I'd love to hear how this works for you and I'd love to hear what you're gonna do today with your 24 minutes. What's gonna be in your Pomodoro technique or your Pomodoro session? My name is Jen Liddy and I'm a business development coach for creative, busy women who want more time so that they can bring their idea to life. I'm all about productivity and accountability and if you are curious about how, follow along. There's lots of free stuff here for you. Thanks for tuning in and happy Saturday. Bye.